Hi everyone, welcome back. I know it's been a while, uh, about a month, a month and a half, but uh, yeah, life gets busy and YouTube is really hard actually and uh, time consuming. But anyways, I'm back and hopefully things are a little bit more consistent from now on. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, so yeah, let's dive right back into part two where we're gonna be modifying the skin for the Shop 3D uh, virtual tool that we were working on before. Uh, so yeah, let me show you a few things that I know and uh, we're also going to be optimizing for the mobile version Which is really interesting as well. 3Vista makes it really easy. But yeah, let's dive in. All right So here we are. Let me show you how it looks like on the website right now So where we put it here is in the locations uh, portion of the website Which I think obviously makes sense and uh, you kind of scroll down and then you see the shop 3D virtual tour Let me just refresh here. So we can see that the video starts after you load the page. Yeah, nice and then you just uh, click on it and uh, it's gonna hopefully go in there. Yeah, nice, start with a little bit of planet and we're going back in there. So as you can see, the interface is fairly simple. So we got the Shop 3D logo here. It looks a little bit better once you go inside. Yeah, there you go. We got the Shop 3D logo here. We got the number, we got the location and I'll show you exactly how to feed that in there as well. And then we just got this very simple uh, user interface where you can go full screen if there was music you can cancel the music which actually I should have removed that and then if you actually wear the virtual reality goggles you can also use that which I tried and it's actually really cool uh, so yeah let me show you how this gets done so here's where we left off and uh, as you can see it's uh, I told you that you will need to go back and uh, kind of do your own virtual tour and add the things that you wanted based on the last video part one uh, but this is where we are right now and uh, we're gonna assume that everything is completed and it's, it's good to go. So the last thing we gotta do is change the skin, which is basically the user interface around everything here. Uh, we chose the enterprise uh, default skin and uh, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on here. And uh, like I showed you, I basically removed almost everything, uh, but let's, uh, let's see how that's actually done. All right, so we're gonna be working in the skin tab right here. So first thing you wanna do is just delete the mobile version. And you'll see why we're doing this uh, in a little bit, but uh, I'll tell you why right now. So yeah, we can delete the mobile version for now because uh, the general one is gonna be where we're gonna do bulk, the bulk of our work. And from there, we can actually generate the mobile version, which uh, copies most of the things from the general tab over to the mobile version. And then we can make some tweaks that are specific to the phones. First thing we gotta do is remove everything we don't really care about. Let's start with the EU things. Uh, so all of these icons, what do we really wanna leave? So based on the final version that I showed you, all we wanna really leave is this uh, location button. Now the cool thing is that if I start deleting these, uh, this will actually shift, uh, which is great because that's how uh, 3D has set up the skin. Now, how do we actually get uh, you know, the maps to show? So if I go ahead and show, the location tab, uh, this is the thing that pops up. And what this feeds is some random location somewhere in the world. Yeah, so to change the actual location that shows up, uh, we're gonna go over to the elements here, expand the location uh, kind of tab here, and then go into global, and this is the web frame that we're looking for. And what we gotta do is go in a location on Google and feed in this kind of link right here. So let's go to Google Maps. Great, so all we really need is click on the share button here, embed map, and then we can just copy that HTML. Uh, just replace everything in here. And once we do that, and, and make sure you control S once in a while so that you know nothing crashes on you and you lose a lot of, a lot of time. All right, so let's click on preview and uh, we're gonna hold on control to just see this uh, portion of the tour. And awesome, so we got that working, no problem. Back to the tour. So let's go ahead and hide this container right here. Uh, next we gotta do is modify the top portions here. And like you saw that, we really don't need anything. Uh, so <laughs> go ahead and just delete everything. Nice. Uh, so this is the only things that we actually need in our skin. Uh, so let's do a few things. So let's change this right in here. So yeah, find the text that you wanna modify. Uh, sometimes you'll be able to click on it, sometimes not, but uh, find it on the elements tab here. Scroll down and there you go. The text box is right there. So we can write in some number. Let's expand it a bit. And sometimes it won't let you, but that's fine. We can actually pop it right out of there. Uh, so if it's already in kind of this container, so like you saw up here. Uh, so if it's in the sticker container, 
uh, that means that it's kind of constrained to the size of the sticker. So if we uh, if we want to pop it out of there, we could just by dragging it out of the box and then you can just kind of treat this individually. Uh, but let's control Z and go back. So now it's back to the box. So if we select the entire box, we can actually just increase the size of it and then also increase the size of the text. And do it again. Amazing. You can also use the size, position, and padding here so that it always kind of resizes to the right size. Uh, but just for the sake of time, uh, this is you gotta kind of play with it and learn by yourself because uh, it's a little bit weird. Uh, but maybe I'll cover that in a, in a later video. All right. Uh, so we're just gonna leave the number there. We can get rid of this text right here. And uh, great. The last thing we want is uh, what happens when you actually click on the on the three bars right here. So when you click on the three bars, I believe that this is what shows up, right? So you can hide and and, uh, and show things here. Uh, so once you click on show, there's a whole bunch of buttons that we, again, don't really need. So if I select this button uh, and click delete, everything will kind of shift. Uh, now we, again, don't need the sound. Uh, we don't need this really. Uh, actually, we can keep that. that. That's actually an interesting button because you can actually use your phone uh, as a gyro and then as you move your phone and tilt it the actual image that you see will also tilt and move and maybe I'll show that while I explain it uh, so yeah and then VR sure we can keep that in there last thing is we want to just shrink this box a little bit great and uh, we're almost done let's change the color of this container in the back here uh, so again just select it or find it in the elements boxes click on edit styles Let's, um, let's just remove it actually. So we're gonna be transparent because you saw that the actual logo shop of e.ca was uh, just on top of the actual image that we took. So if we right click on these, they actually disappear and this means that there's not gonna be a color there anymore. Uh, next. All right, so now we're gonna position the shop 3D logo. So first of all, we're gonna throw it inside of this button set. Uh, and the way we do that is just drag it into it. That's it, simple. Uh, so now it's using that whole length and what we need to do is center it. So we just scroll down here and we need to just override all these values. So 25 here and 25 there and that will give us the exact distance. Uh, if you wanted to, you can make the logo smaller or bigger by changing these values as well. So now it's for sure centered all the time. So let's change a few more things like this color here. Uh, so we have black, but you can change it to anything you want. Here you go. So select it, edit styles. Then you can select black, for example. And now just don't forget that you also need to select black for this. And we're gonna just remove these again because I did have to restart the video because uh, I had some problems. But anyway, uh, yeah, you can leave that in there and resize it again. Perfect. And let's change the color. So again, just click on it, click on black. And there's actually also colors to the actual boxes of the icons. So we are gonna have to either remove them to make them transparent, which is what I'll do here, or just change it to some color that you like. And then you'll have some uh, contrasting colors uh, in the back and in the foreground. Perfect, so at this point we're done. Don't forget to hide that button box. Uh, there you go. And last thing is we want to actually put this all the way to the side. And if we wanted to do that, we just have to change the padding. Uh, not here, but rather in this container here, because uh, there's actually padding on the right here. And if we change it, it will move it right and left. So we're just gonna get 15, uh, keep it simple. Uh, but you can just do zero. All right, so from here, we're basically good to go. There's nothing else that we need to do. Uh, except do the mobile version. So let's make sure, first of all, that everything here works. Uh, so again, let's click on preview. You might actually notice that this uh, skin stuff is actually kind of simple, uh, especially if you use one of the main skins or the default skins that 3D Vista offers. I'd say that if you kind of work from the, from the default skin and you always kind of just take everything away, you can actually save the skin as well, and that would be your default skin, for example. Uh, so yeah, you can save some time like that by having kind of uh, a more bare bones version of the of the enterprise skin. Awesome. So we got the, the logo centered right here. We got the phone number. We got the map. And actually the map is, uh, yeah, pointing to shop 3D. I did end up changing that. Uh, there are a few more things we can do to polish it out. For example, the color of the icons, the when you hover over this icon as well, there's the orange. Maybe you can make it black or maybe a blue that matches with the logo colors. And then obviously you have these, and again, you 
can change all this stuff where when you hover over it, uh, you can get different colors as well. So if I do full screen, it goes full screen. If I had a VR headset, this would actually do something, but it doesn't. And uh, yeah, from here, you're basically good to go and publish it. So let's see what that looks like. All right, before that, we're gonna to actually do the mobile version as well. We're back here in the skins. Uh, so if we just click plus, remember that we actually deleted it. Uh, if we click plus right now, all of these items will kind of populate in there uh, in the right positions, hopefully, if we did everything right. So let's click on that and it asks you, what do you wanna bring back in? Uh, we're just gonna click on everything. So as you can see, everything got resized to a vertical type uh, position and also you can select different phones if you wanted to do that. And then for me, I think that this tour is best viewed in horizontal mode. So we're just gonna flip that over and this is how we're gonna work. Uh, one thing to note is that most people will use their phone in vertical mode and then things won't look quite that nice. So what you can do is actually force people to rotate their mobile phone. So if you do force mobile rotation, it will say, well, what do you want to force it to? Portrait or landscape, we're gonna force landscape. Now this is kind of a personal choice that I made here. I think that for the most part, just stick to vertical because that's most, how most people use their phones, but I think this is fine here. This is basically it. You don't really have to do anything else because um, we actually deleted the skin and then regenerated it once we were done with the general one. Uh, I think this is fine. And then you can always uh, publish it and check on your phone that everything works properly. So let's do Control S and let's, let me show you how to publish things here. So while that's saving actually, there are a few ways to use 3D Vista. You can either use it offline by uploading it to like a TV or a computer or something like that. Uh, and there's actually an executable that you can make, but realistically most people are gonna be browsing online somehow. Uh, so how you do that? So 3D Vista actually offers uh, their own hosting service, which you get free for three months when you buy it, I believe, um, if it's still the case. Uh, but if not, then you can pay for it. It's quite expensive with 3D Vista, so I am finding a different way to do it. I think I'm gonna use the Amazon servers for that. And I'll probably set up a video of how to do that as well. Uh, but the easiest version would just be to pay through the Vista. Everything is kind of uh, streamlined inside of the software and everything just kind of flows really well. Um, and it's it's fairly fast as well. So that's, that's one way to do it. Uh, another way is if you are just wanting it to be offline, you can download the 3D Vista app and that will, uh, and then you can just view it online or offline or however you want, uh, on like an iPad if you're going around to places, but we don't do that much anymore. So uh, yeah, let me show you what happens when you click publish. So yeah, there you go. So when you click publish here, as long as you're logged in, uh, you have a few options. So you can either save it uh, as a, kind of like a web or mobile version. And what this means is that it will generate all the HTML, CSS, uh, all that stuff that basically builds the page that, uh, that you see online. And uh, you can then upload that to your own server. Uh, or if you're using the 3D Vista Cloud, you can just publish it there. Uh, and that will just give you a link to use. Uh, another way to do it is uh, you can just put it as a standalone player. This will generate that executable I talked about. And then you got the 360 video. I'm not a fan of this, it doesn't do a great job, but if you really need something for Facebook or YouTube, you can use this. And the last one, which is the most interesting one, is the Google Street View, which uh, can be very powerful, especially I think for restaurants, because you just kind of publish it to Google Street View and then people can actually do the virtual tour inside of Google Street View, which is really cool. And also they can just view individual 360 images on their phones. Uh, so let's first do the first one. So here you do, if you just click on the cloud, you can select a few things here. Uh, optimize images will just make them smaller or bigger uh, just so that it loads a little bit faster. And from here, you just click on publish. This will give you, this will just upload it to the 3D Vista cloud and then you get a link that you can use. And I'll post the link to this tour in the description. Uh, next, if you click on the web version here, this will make a folder with all those HTML, CSS files uh, that you will need to upload to your own server. And more on that in a later video. I think that's gonna be the next one because it's important. Uh, let me show you just what it actually, what links you need to use to actually post it to a website, for example. So here's some of the projects that I worked on. And if I uh, click on the share, if you're using the 3D Vista Cloud, if I click on share here, uh, this is a direct link. So if I copy this and paste it into my web browser. This will just give me a full-size version of that. Uh, yeah, show sure, we got a virtual reality thing. 
and then we can we can go around and uh, that's one way to do it the other way here is if you paste copy and paste this into your website for example it will embed an iframe and iframe looks like the very first thing I showed you which is which is this uh, and you can format it the way you want it uh, or give it to your uh, web developer that uh, will probably have a little bit of an easier time embedding that um, yeah and so yeah that's that's that I think um, this video is a little bit more simple uh, it's not as involved and um, as you can see I actually need to upload my virtual tours to my private server because I have one day left of 3D Vista Cloud, uh, which means I've been around 60, 90 days or something since I started. So yeah, the next video, we're gonna look at uh, how to upload these tours to your own private server if you wanted to do that. And uh, the next video after that is gonna be a little bit about Photoshop automation and how to make cool icons and maybe some animations in 3D Vista. I think that would be fun. And uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe. Uh, I will be hopefully posting a little bit more content, a little bit more regularly. I'm gonna aim for one a week. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Now, if you ever have any questions, uh, you can reach me on Instagram, you can reach me by email, and I'll uh, pop it on here somewhere. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just use those channels or the comments on YouTube. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you didn't like it, well, tell me why. And hopefully I can improve. Uh, so yeah, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace.